It has been a while. I will tell you, everybody, seeing other humans in the context of not a grocery store is kind of creeping me out. Over the weekend. Considering I, uh, had been living alone for 13 months in the middle of this pandemic. And before that, I wasn't really seeing people. Looks like you got shifted. We have rain. I heard you uh, closed the Hiss portal or uh, whatever it is we're calling it. I did. You just flush out the stragglers. So, Tell me about your future, sir. Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Mm. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire bureau. Fuck it. The entire fucking world without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. All right. Head of security. What Glad are your you on me are at least uh, kind of in the well, same direction as the rest of us. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. Trench was fine, but well, you pulled us back from the brink. Well, I'm on the surf, man. I mean, fuck, shit. <laughs> Fading. Sorry. You'll get it one day. You'll get it one day, guy. So... What's the situation in my bureau, Alish? Yeah, what else is going on? Is now that I've beat the game, what other things can I go find? Just to get this place up and running again. Please do tell. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Mm. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are... Yeah, like his, like his karaoke night. song about me being dynamite, is that well, outside of his uh, no one can reach <laughs> normal thing he's supposed to do? Thank Christ for that. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to double check. To, okay. I just need to tab out of the game for a moment and double check one last thing there. We're good. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Any ideas where she could be? Well, been kind of weird not streaming for a week. The the not attic. being on camera for a week. Safe, but she haven't she haven't done that in like a long ass time, actually. Whew, Marshall but is not the kind of person you question. It's kind fine. Intimidating, you know. But uh, she was by herself. If that helps at all. Not really. Not really. But <laughs> thanks. Hopefully she turns up. Thank you for basically always later. being on the same page as me, here. Jesse. Yeah, I found a file on the old director, Northmore. Okay, so I've talked to Do you know anything about that? Could be an error. Director staff process a lot of data. Maybe it's just history. I've talked to Pope, I've talked to Arish. Is that other dude? It's possible. I remember a report about a similar incident from '84. The bureau lost. Uh, by like the containment area. I believe last week. Uh. You heard the director stop the hiss, right? Someone said. I'll be here waiting for you when you wake up, brother. Hey, brother. Someone said that I should double check the lock room. If. You wake up. I guess that's where I'll head. Let's go ahead to the luck room and see what we can find. Darling is really gone. Uh, where is the elevator again? Not that way. That sounds like a perfect way for a man of science. Here we go. Elevator. I know I can like fast travel, but whatever. I'm gonna take a minute to remember the controls today anyway. See if we want research.
because the luck room was where we first met Marshall. Which I believe was on our way to... Uh... The his the the big HRA room or whatever. If I go through here, I should get over there somewhere. Luck and probability. Okay, maybe this is the right place. Other side of this room. How you doing? We are playing control again to try to find some of this uh post game stuff. Not much, you finished Cold Steel 4? Nice. Now you don't know what to do with your life? Oof. Big mood. My luck room. Um... Not sure what I need to find in here. There's the cat. Any info about a cat? Written on a wall or something? Not really. Oh, I see another one of those little clicky clackies. Oh, we've straight up never been in here. Hello. Hello, large room. Uh, oh boy. Okay, what am I seeing? Uh... What? Okay... Be on the outside of the red. I can't click it from the outside of the red. All right, puzzle time, y'all. Let's try to figure some shit out. Here we go. Lucky item manifest. Bronze koi fish tracks abundant, well, horseshoe, ward off evil, orientation, importment, heals up, allows luck to be kept, heals down, luck flows outward. Maneki Neko, beckoning cat, paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck. Four leaf clover, shamrock, rare plant. Elephant, China, protection, good luck. Light bulb, various. Gambling risk, jewels, including luck to be produced when all lights are turned on. Effects of items to be tested, consider investigating. Okay. What am I missing in here? Oh, the info about the slide projector. Object is a blank with vertical tray. A lot of redacted stuff here. The only blank to successfully produce this effect resulted in the capture of blank. Object has not been successfully bound. Yeah, a lot of bad shit happened because of that projector. Oh, hey, look, it's a picture of me. I'm the director now. Okay. Turn on all lights in the room. Um, am I missing any lights? I don't think so.
First shoe has a question mark. First shoe's out here. Somewhere. There we go. We want it oriented up, so we had it right. Do I want the clover? Hold on to it, I guess. I don't know if I want it moving or not. I guess I'll have it up and down moving. Get that thing tapping the elephant. Stand away from it. What? Telephone stopped ringing. TV, hello TV. Uh. What? Let's try this again, I guess. Stand away from it. Hey, Rose Red. What? Something happened. I got a golden suit. I guess I did it right? Okay, I guess I did it right. I'm assuming I did it right? Is that all there is in here? Oh, it's always hitting seven, so. Okay. I did it. I'm lucky. We got a new outfit I can try on. Oh, God. Let's try to figure out where else uh, there might be stuff we haven't seen. Hmm, where else is there stuff we haven't seen? It seems like I need to try to find Marshall. Arish kind of hinted at that. And the luck outfit, golden suit. Ooh, okay. Looking snazzy. Any luck finding the armory? None. Here we go. There's one. There's containment. Near the turntable. So we got one mission here. That was a post-game mission that showed up. Let us uh, see what happened. So, so how was everyone else this week? I, I definitely haven't, uh, seen most of you. I don't know if any of you were watching, uh, the big soccer tournament or whatever the other day. I will admit I wasn't. <laughs> okay, this was closed. And I remember commenting about this door. You got some kind of giant looking D12. <laughs> got evil Tomasi. lost or something I think that sounds right to me I'm pretty sure England lost oh 
we got Explodey Boys. When did they show up? Ah, Jesus! I was not prepared for you! We'll slide on over here if you don't mind. Too many explodey boys now. Where'd all my health go? I just killed a bunch of dudes, didn't I? I thought I just killed a bunch of dudes. I thought the health was right there. Well, oops. They won on penalties. Oof. Only found out about the tournament today. I I follow a um a games journalist in the UK um who I know thinks about football or or soccer a lot so I I saw some posts about it but I didn't like look carefully yesterday night Italy won on penalties. Hi, Tomasi. Can I not fail this time, please? And I'm stuck on things. Oh, God. Already low on health. Great. Give me health. What is going on here? You. Oh, a bad time for you to show up. Invisible guy. I'm in trouble. Where did the invisible guy go? Free health, free health. Thank you, thank you, thank you. seen that move before. But we got him. It's fine. Oh god. I I don't know why, but in my head, I killed the boss, which meant everything else despawned. <laughs> That's not what happened. I killed the boss and everything else was still there to fuck me up. That's okay. I did succeed the mission. I'm going to jump back, oops, jump back in there real quick. I'm going to jump back in there real quick just because there might have been other stuff I could get in here. No, no one's spawning this time. Hey, look at all this stuff I want. Let's see. Sterling. A paranatural object appeared in a field outside of the town of Sterling, Colorado. Near a billboard advertising blank. No civilians were injured, though a family dog has been reported missing since the event. Local authorities arrived on the scene, began issuing orders over a monitored line of communication using several watchwords flagged by the Bureau, including blank. Bureau agents from the regional office were dispatched and arrived two hours after local police. The situation was contained and analysis began. 
Mural research staff arrived the next day and examined the object. After blank days of evaluation, the object was lifted into an enclosed truck with built-in black rock panels and relocated to Bureau headquarters via subway transit system, leading to the oldest house. I guess it must be this rock? My dudes! Let's see. Alright, what is in this back area? My back room. You're listening to America Overnight. Now All right, America Overnight. Lifting the veil between fiction and reality. Thank you for staying off of us. I've been getting You're welcome. A lot of calls about this Hi, radio host. Sterling, Colorado. There were reports oh. of a large spherical container that crash landed in a field outside. This is town. about the Sterling Some thing. People reportedly took it away. Which again, we're the assuming is this big rock. Stone, Colorado, and Sterling isn't far. I drove down myself to check it out with members of the America Overnight team. Ooh. I have to tell you, it wasn't long before we found pieces of metal debris scattered in a field. Listeners, this is yet another instance of an unidentified flying object <gasps> or a UFO entering our airspace and crashing. That the government took away the evidence under cover of darkness only compounds the fact that these <laughs> are more than likely visitors from beyond our planet, or dare I say, solar system. It's and true. Our website to see pictures of the spacecraft. Aliens are real. And while you're doing that, our sponsors would like your ear. America Overnight will be right back. Great. Also. Local witnesses reported a bright flash in the in the field at approximately blank. No noise accompanied the light. Authorities had assumed the object fell from the sky, but our examination found the object actually manifested there, vaporizing the soil around it in an intense spherical blank blank, which possibly explains the light seen from town. So it was like the time travel orb from fucking Terminator? Anyway, the object is a hollow sphere made of a stone-like material. Structural analysis of the material does not... I mean, it's not spherical. The thing out there is not spherical. The material does not blank on record. The sphere has a broken portion, as if something blank from the object. The object has been inactive since arriving at the Bureau... Communications department officially stated to the press that the object was a small meteor while also using the American Overnight program to blank. This all will be studied in the containment sector until the spherical object is deemed safe. Okay. Terminator 2? Yeah, okay, it's an old movie, but come on. It's so famous. It's not like a weird reference. People love T2. Jeez, getting on my case about old references when talking about incredibly famous things. Back to Emily. That's what the game wanted me to do. Select reward. Ooh. That's right. You're proud about never being pleasable. You know what? That's fair. Knowing that your worth quality is is admirable, I suppose. <laughs> so yeah, why don't I tell everybody a little bit about my trip? Um, the plane ride down to California was rough. Um, you know what, I'll, I'll talk about it after we talk to Emily I took here. care of the Tomasi problem. Sorry, I forget he was a co-worker. 
Don't apologize. That wasn't the real Tomasi. <gasps> he died when the hiss got him. Oh, I see you're what you're right. saying. I just didn't want to be insensitive. Sentimentality is a weakness in situations like these, Jesse. That's Bureau 101. Now is it? Emily's in danger of being called sentimental. Some rough Bureau 101. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. How's that? No. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. Nothing else for me, Emily? Please, Emily. Not even as a joke. Okay. Who moved my for you? Uh, but yes. Sorry. As I was saying, the trip down was rough because... Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executive center. While there was no... While there was no baby on my flight... I'll see you later. There was instead yeah, a real small... Give you a wink! There you go, bud. How you doing, Guapo? So while there was no baby on the flight, there was, in fact, a... Chihuahua. And... Look, I like dogs. I will admit, Chihuahuas are maybe my least favorite dog. But I like dogs. But putting a little dog on an airplane, keeping it in a tiny little carry-on thing, and then, of course, with how loud airplanes are, of course that dog's not going to have a good time. You know what I mean? I don't blame the dog. I understand the dog. Oh, nothing back there. But that dog was having a bad time. And unfortunately, the bad time that dog was having was also... It's just a dark hole. Okay. The bad time that dog was having, it was also having it in the seat directly behind me for the entire flight. And it was super annoying and frustrating. If not because of the dog, also because of the lady constantly through the whole fight, flight, being like, oh, shush, 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 shush. It's okay. It's okay. Shush, 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 shush. It's just like, oh my god. But the flight down was a little rough. The flight back, I didn't actually have any of that kind of problem uh the flight back was actually just like quiet not super long fairly pleasant apparently i missed a file right here an auditory event occurred at the united states embassy in havana injuring the major yeah, the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there blank deaths were reported and the Outgoing information has been managed. Sounds as bad as a baby. It, it was just as bad as a baby. It was just as bad as a baby. Um, the, the real funny thing is it wasn't the only dog as a carry-on in that first flight. There was someone like two seats up and one seat over that also had a dog. But I didn't notice until the flight was over. Because they got up and I saw them carrying their little dog... Um, and that other dog was quiet and peaceful the whole flight. Anyway, I get it. I wouldn't want to be a dog getting put in a fucking tube either. But I'm going to finish reading this and then I'll talk more about my trip. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event. No, the bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels but were too late to witness the AWE which is reported to have been blank. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This latest, uh, this lasted for blank minutes. I cannot read today. No visual phenomenon was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental USA. After formula I-9 was 
recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. A single cowboy boot. Oh. Hey, we've never been in here. Considering it's all moldy. Oh, great. Sorry, mold guys. Um. Oh, I didn't pick this up. Ah! What was I saying? Dogs flight. Right. Uh, I will say that being on the flight and seeing the amount of uh, the amount that airports are still following mask guidelines and stuff and trying to enforce them uh, was nice. Not that they couldn't be doing more, but, you know, they could have been doing a lot less. Uh, but you, you have to wear, unless, unless you are eating, basically, unless you are eating or drinking, they are enforcing masks the whole time. Thank God. It was kind of weird for me to see uh, how many businesses and everything really aren't enforcing masks uh, the way that airports and everything else are uh, anymore. Like, if you go to grocery stores now, and I, it's kind of happening in Portland too, not just in California. Uh, but I think it was kind of happening basically the same week I wasn't in town. So I didn't really notice it until going back and then being like, oh, everything is all opened up here too. Uh, geez. I feel like there's got to be areas I just have not been to. I don't know where. Maybe the dude here has a mission for me. Because if the, if the DLC is, like, act, accessed through the game, I just got to figure out where to do that, you know? Honestly, maybe you do that in the director's room. And I just haven't been in there. Uh, we could try... There's the janitor area. Uh... We want power plant. The janitor board might have some of those missions where stuff turned up and I didn't notice it until like the end of the game. Do I need to install it separately? I don't think so. Because this is the ultimate edition. Is what they called it. Where it just like comes with everything. I guess I can double check. We'll exhaust a couple of these other options real quick and then I'll tab out and figure it out if they don't work. Do, do, do. Artiste, I guess I just take a seat. New mission. Take a break. Okay. This is what being a janitor is all about. Yeah, so, um... What else? The airport. I did that. I saw, I saw people. Ooh, my jacket. I suppose the janitor's assistant does need proper janitor attire. New outfit! 
Okay, well, there was a little mission I missed. That was shorter than I expected, I guess. Hello. Never been in here. Uh, but yeah, when I when I was in California, I saw a few people for the first time in a long time, which was nice. I'll be a, a little bit anxiety inducing. Thanks to having not seen anyone in so long. What else? What else? I went to restaurants and stuff. Like, it was, it was, it was nice. Don't get me wrong. I had a nice time seeing people, going on vacation and everything. It was just also awkward. I was ill prepared. For what felt like casual, casual not wearing masks and such. Did I already do jukebox stuff? Not really. I haven't really done jukebox stuff. Well, that looked like it was a pretty separate thing. Looked like it was just kind of a get some random things. Not necessarily like a progress based thing. At least from what I could tell. Alright. Oh, I have a new outfit. Let me check my janitor outfit. Ha! I like the gold suit, thank you. Uh okay. Hang on. Let's take a peek. That's not the button I meant to press. Oh god. There we go. Alright. Alright, Steam. A real mess. They only sell the ultimate edition on Steam. But they offered the standard on Humble. So you have to buy the DLC season pass somewhere else. That is really dumb. <laughs> that is incredibly dumb. Why would it do that? And I have, okay. I have expeditions in photo mode. But I guess those came free. Is that why I have those but not the DLC then? Okay. Alright everybody, give me a minute. I'm going to make this work. 